So here's a virtual exercise that I think if you take about 50 war gamers, let's just look at war gamers, sit us all in a room and everyone that plays a war game, whatever that system is, X-Wing Miniatures, Battletech, Chain of Command, Warhammer 40,000, all systems that I enjoy, we all have that in common. Now, in that group, and maybe ask yourself this question, role-playing games, it could be mainstream D&D, it could be GURPS, it could be something more obscure like Invisible Sun. Look at that, raise your hand virtually, or, or raise your hand, smash the like, something. Yes, I bet you, you play a role-playing game, and it may not be as much as your miniature wargaming, but you play role-playing games. Now, board games. Raise that virtual hand if you play board games. There are a lot of wargamers that play board games. And again, it could be equal dedication or it could be a part. So the question that I've been starting to ask myself, war games, the idea was the models, and we're compressing, we're, we're compressing like 30 years here, right? We're doing like some quantum calculations here. The idea was war games were a simulation. They were the creation of a narrative, the miniatures, the terrain, everything painted. The idea was you could step outside of space and time and, and, do this miniature wargaming thing and look at it and play it from that perspective. Some were focused on the game, say like historicals, while others, the model range was the primary source of the game, like Warhammer 40,000. But that was the idea. Board games, to a greater or lesser extent, the idea was um, at least one of my favorite old school board games that I, I still play and I love, Web and Starship. It was on a hex map. It has counters. It was the war game experience, the war game experience in a condensed format. Plays quicker, portable, miniature cost and setup, not really there. Well, that line has, that, that timeline has advanced and changed tremendously, tremendously over the years to the point now where almost it's hard to tell the difference between the two. And, and the example that I always use, look at Warhammer 40,000, fantastic miniatures. Put aside the practices of GW for a moment. Fantastic miniatures. Now look at something like Nemesis. Nemesis, it's a premium board game. The components are fantastic. The miniatures are fantastic. But that's, that's the base game. I look at uh, the aliens in that game, the models, the miniatures, I've included them in my Tyranid army, my Warhammer 40k Tyranid army. I do crossover. When I'm not playing my Tyranids, they're painted for Nemesis. Um, when I am, they're thrown in with my Tyranids. The quality of those models, and those are single cast, single piece, mass produced, and I don't mean this in a negative way, non-collector miniatures. Games Workshop spins it like, oh, it's not only a game, but they're collectible miniatures. They're fantastic. Um, if you look at more and more board games that are coming out, especially ones that offer a, an epic piece model, you know, like the, the Queen Alien in Nemesis. They're fantastic looking. That, that line is blurring. So I'm, I'm starting to wonder, certain miniature-based companies, how can they continue to charge these prices for their system when not only are there more alternatives in, in that system itself, you know, wargaming alternatives, but when you look at other aspects of the, the gaming hobby, the gaming culture that compete, like board games, I can jump in on that and I can get those experiences there. And eventually enough people say, you know, this is, this is kind of crazy um, with the miniature prices for certain war gamers. What do you guys think? Now, I'm, I'm just curious in the comments. We're all here, potentially, for war gaming. Do you also play role playing games? Do you also play board games? And do you see those lines blurring more and more where your resources, your dollars, your time, if certain wargaming systems become way too much, it's easy to steer off into board games. Or one could say even into role-playing games.